This is the Dragonfly, the latest improvement in electric aviation. Wait, no, this is the Dragonfly. My name is Mark Ommert and I'm an aeronautical engineer, uh, fully focused on electric aircraft development. And in this project, I am the engineering manager. So we started this project uh, with a Viking Dragonfly Mark II. Uh, we got it actually from the market. Uh, we didn't choose for it, um, but we got an airplane and then we thought like, okay, what can we do with it? So let's go battery electric. The main challenges of this project is that we of course first need to learn how to build aircraft also in practice. But on the other hand, um, electric propulsion is something that is quite new in the aviation industry. So we need to learn how to design and build and also test these kind of systems. I am Masoud bin Mamun, uh, working in the team Crane Mantis. And our project was a validation of a powertrain where we have to prepare certification plan, flight test plan for the Dragonfly powertrain. Uh, the main challenge was to understand the document. So there we uh, had a couple of uh, discussion with our client, Mr. Shur Kuzma. And he's the uh, uh, main guy who basically helped us a lot to understand the documents and uh, what tasks and what topics needs to be chosen from those documents because it's not a small document that we just see it and put it in the document, but yeah. Test flying requires a lot of uh, preparation, a lot of steps before you actually want to fly. You need to have a certification plan exactly describing to what requirements you need to want to certify the airplane and uh, from that certification plan which consists of uh, laboratory testing uh, but also uh, all kind of reports uh, ground testing and flight testing are in particular those elements that are important for a test pilot there will be a flight test plan describing all the elements from a test flight the separate tests all will be described on what we call test cards. The test cards is a kind of a summary for the test pilot. He has really on board and it gives a more or less it is a checklist for him to complete all the items required for a successful test. After the test has been done, there will be probably data acquisition, there will be data generated by sensors, by transducers but also from notes from the test pilot and, and just you know debriefing from the test pilot about, for instance, handling qualities. After the flight, the test pilot will, will write a, a flight test report and that flight test report will be an input for the certification reports. This project was uh, basically a research phase uh, project and the most fun part was um, the real authority was uh, checking our work. So in the previous assignments, it was mostly like uh, uh, like fixing something or modifying some existing design. But uh, in this uh, uh, project, it was more like a new thing for us, and uh, uh, we were not aware in the beginning that IULT, ILT, the authority, will review. Uh, our work. So we visited uh, their office and we had uh, lots of discussion with them, uh, ups and downs in our assignments, uh, their feedbacks, work on their feedback. Uh, like those were the most fun part for me. I'm very excited uh, to fly the airplane. The fact is that as a test pilot you will be involved in the project from the very first start of the project. Every team member, so not only the pilot, but every team member can draw red cards. And the red card is when somebody is not happy and somebody thinks we should do that different or I have doubts. Everybody can draw that red card and that is extremely important. Being the pilot you will be the, the very last person in the whole chain. Uh, but you have to trust all the team members and the trust that you build on that during the whole project. Here we see the challenges, uh, what it takes to, to install an electric motor into the aircraft and students, researchers, but also the industry is involved in this project. And I think that is really important because we can do a lot of work for the industry, but we learn a lot from the industry as well. And that is how we can update our educational program. Uh, we know how to, how to build, uh, design and build aircraft, but not per se on the propulsion uh, side. 
So we need to learn how that works. And we do that by working together with the industry. So we apply products out of the market into our airplane. And in this way, we, we learn how this, uh, this system uh, looks like. And um, on the other end, we can also provide something for the companies. This is a demonstrator project. So we apply their technology into our aircraft. Uh, I think as a student, uh, it's really important to know how the aviation can convert into electrified uh, instead of using fuel and some regular uh, uh, rules and regulations. So it's a really new stuff and it's really good to learn uh, how the uh, aviation can adapt with this configuration and uh, also what uh, improvements can begin from here. So I think it's really important because there is a new chapter of the whole history. Dragonfly project, I think uh, it's an opportunity really for in Holland um, to, to have a contribution to sustainable flight future. Uh, but in particular also to, to get knowledge on uh, aircraft design and in particular on certification of airplane. Um, because all aspects will be, will be done. So with the Dragonfly we can learn how to build electric aircraft. That's quite a new topic in the aviation. Um, so on one hand we uh, work with the technology of electric propulsion systems, so the batteries, the uh, motor, uh, maybe in the future hydrogen. Um, and in this way we, we, we learn from the industry by applying it in a demonstrator project. On the other end, we uh, learn about it and we can prepare our future engineers for, the, for all these challenges uh, that, uh, that will be in the future.